Okay. See if this one looks good when we've dealt with it. I don't know how big we're going to make it. Uh, we'll soon find out. Uh, it looks like the rain's cleared a little bit. It's still raining, but at least it's not terribly dark. So we're going to make this one. 390 by... Oops. 300... And 80 gonna make it like that we'll see and find out see if it looks good if we've got the right size gonna contrast it a little bit gonna lighten it up a bit All right, let's see what we've got. Um, got here out of a, oh, I think it's some kind of lifestyle magazine or Chinese uh, lifestyle magazine. Got this um, walrus. Interesting. You don't think these are going to be around much longer when, when the when the polar ice caps finally melt. Um, that's the uh, one of the nastiness. Of climate change is that polar ice caps are melting incredibly faster and they're accelerating as we go and basically if we don't stop consuming too much co2 or pumping it in the air rather we've got no chance and even if the world if everyone in the world cooperated we'd still have to deal with the runaway train effect so I'm not happy with the way the world's run by the rich corporations and the rich bitches of the world who just care only about money but what can I do? There's nothing I can do. I throw my hands up in absolute disgust and, and re resignation that there's no silver bullet that'll fix this problem. But anyway, it looks like we've got this looking good. Our beautiful walrus living on borrowed time you could say. Poor thing. Uh... Not a very good composition for a mirror image, um, but maybe I'll surprise myself. So I'm wondering if we're going to change the enlargement. No, we're not. We're staying. But it's really sad to see the world as being ruined by the rich few. And it's not just the rich. People follow with consumerism. They buy things, too many things that they don't need and dispose of it. You know, when manufacturing goes up and more CO2 goes up. I mean, I don't even know anymore how my, my, nephew, my nephew is going to live. What's my nephew going to do in this future? This bleak future that, that past generations have ruined. What are this, my bloody, how's my bloody nephew supposed to uh, survive? I mean... My nephew and your nephew, your son, your daughter, whatever, uh, your aunt, well, not your aunt, I mean your niece, nieces, how are they going to survive a, a dark future that we've painted for them? That's the thing, we just, how are we supposed to, uh, what can we do about it, folks, when the rich are not cooperating? What do we do, folks? Just watch in horror as the world is overheating this is meant to be autumn in australia it feels more like oh shit some days it feels like a mild summer day i get hot and sweaty still i often don't need to wear a jacket i normally don't need to wear any kind of jacket whereas normally i would have worn a snow jacket uh by now you can still feel the heat from the sun whereas in the past you couldn't in april you couldn't feel the heat from the sun normally but now it's like that the sun gets hot once the sun's out i start to feel hot you know if i was in my i was wearing a jacket today but that's like an exception like this there's quite a there's not that many days where i have to actually wear a jacket so it's not good it's not a good sign of the times folks got to find us scientists have got to find a solution soon because who knows, there may not be, mankind may go extinct along with these poor little codgers. 
I think now we can call this bleak, bleak little demo. Quits.